Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm still trying to build your understanding about percents. Reason why is because I make, see a lot of students make some really silly errors that you wouldn't make if you understood a little more than you do about percents. So let's take a look. It says, which of the following percentages have a value greater than one? Made me super sad on the internet because the majority of people seem to think that all of these numbers or just about all of them were greater than one. Uh, reason why probably I'm guessing is because they were ignoring the percent sign. A lot of times when we don't understand something, our brain will just go ahead and ignore it for us. Uh, but be careful, percent means something mathematically. Percent literally means, you see that word per, per is like out of. Mathematically, that's dividing by. And cent literally means 100. So percent literally means out of 100 or divided by 100. And why is that? It's because when we talk about percent, we're talking about something as a portion of 100 pieces. We're imagining that whatever the thing is that we have, we've broken it into 100 total pieces, and we're taking a portion of those 100 total pieces. Okay? Because of that, a lot of you guys are aware that 100% means all of something, but careful. When we're talking all of something numerically, we're talking about the number one. 100% is just one whole thing. And indeed, if you didn't believe me, you could take 100 and per it by 100, divide it by 100. That's what percent means, 100 divided by 100. And you would find out that, of course, 100 divided by 100 is just one. So 100% is one whole thing. So in uh, with a list of percents here, the only things that are going to be greater than one are those percents that are greater than 100%. So let's go take a look here. Which one of these are greater than 100%? Well, certainly 3.75, 3 and some change is not greater than 100. Uh, 37, of course, is not greater than 100. But 375% sure is. That's one of the answers. 375% is significantly higher than 100%. So it is significantly higher than 1. Um, again, don't get tricked with decimal points. This is 37 and some change, 37.5%. That is not bigger than 100. But 101% sure is just a smidge higher than 100%. So it's just a little bigger than 1. All right, so the two answers here are 375% and 101%. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.